Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to learn a very interesting thing with respect to Jenkins. So as you know, we have multiple pipelines or Jenkins jobs running. Some may fail, some may succeed. So if we want to get notified on the failure of the pipelines as well as success, uh, like success of the pipelines, we can configure some script from Jenkins so that we can receive notification mail over our email address stating the fact if the pipeline is success, if the pipeline is failed or it is unstable. Okay. So, you know, on YouTube, lots of videos are there who are showing this. But the reality is that if you are working and if you want to get notification, you should be creating a script that should be uh, like sending mail notification in a much proper way. For example, if I try to show you this, see, I have I have configured a script to send this mail and you can see a proper format is there. Name of the pipeline, build number and status. This will be the subject of the uh, mail notification. Then we have again like it's a green border, green border or green banner. This means that pipeline is success. Okay. Here we can see the name and build number, status of the pipeline and with the banner. From the banner we can understand it is success as well as the console output URL. So if I want to check the console output, we can I can check it from this URL. In addition to that, if I want to uh, like attach some files from my pipeline, so that also I can do. For example, I want to publish the trivi report uh, file to my email notification so that it can be used for analysis now this is the case of successful right let's say if pipeline failed okay so in that case banner will be like a uh, subject of the pipeline will be e name of the pipeline build number status and this border you can see it's completely red as well as this status also the banner is also red this means that this pipeline has been failed okay so yeah this is what i'm going to show you how we can do from scratch okay so make sure to watch it till end and you don't miss anything okay and all the script that i'm going to use for these things so it will be available in the telegram channel and the pinned message so don't miss uh, uh, so make sure to you don't miss that as well okay you can get the script and you can use it within yourself and yeah uh, i'm also going to show you how to configure that in our jenkins okay so yeah uh, with that being said let's get started Okay team, so this is the pipeline that I have created, just basic steps so that we can have one pipeline. So what I'm doing, just uh, fetching the source code, compiling, running test cases, doing a file system scan and building the application. Okay, so basically my requirement is that once the pipeline is success or failed, I should be receiving a notification over my email in a proper format as I explained previously, right? So for doing that, we need to set up certain things like we need to open specific port. We need to configure our, we need to generate an application password over Gmail. We need to configure Jenkins. Okay. And we need to write some script to do all these things. Okay. I'm sure you might have seen different videos uh, like, uh, like showcasing how to send uh, notification mails, but this, this, uh, the script that I'm going to use, it's a very user friendly and say colored based, uh, like mail. Okay. This will be really interesting. Okay. So now let me show you the basic pipeline that I have written. So my pipeline is having all the stages like compile uh, file system scan. So in file system scan, let me do one thing. I'll be using Trivi. Okay. And let me do one thing. I will write. I have uh, installed Trivi on my uh, uh, virtual machine. Trivi FS hyphen hyphen format table. Output will be in a file named as uh, let's say Trivi dash report dot html okay and i want to scan the current folder okay now these are the steps that i have written so all these steps basically do the basic task only okay so in addition to this what i want that once this pipeline is succeeded or failed or unstable so i should be receiving an email uh, over my email address mentioning uh, the status of the pipeline with some details okay so how do we do so first of all let me just apply these changes and first of all in jenkins let's go to dashboard in dashboard go to manage jenkins and in that go to system okay now and the system scroll, scroll down till you find these two options email uh, notification also you should be able to see this option extended email notification these two options you should be able to see now the thing is key this notification part if for it to work well you need to open a specific port on your virtual machines wherever jenkins is running okay so for that we are going to our instance and this is the instance that i'm running okay and this instance is using the security group this one launch wizard uh, 2 now what i need to do basically i'll in the inbound rules you need to make sure that you have port 465 open with protocol uh, tcp okay 
and the type will be smt but smt sm sorry sm tps so these things you need to remember because 465 is the specific port that is going to be used by the smtp server of gmail for sending notifications okay so make sure that on your virtual machine this port 465 protocol tcp and type smtps is open okay so once this part is done we can go back to jenkins now in jenkins what exactly do we need to do so before we start configuring jenkins we need to generate a password for our gmail account how do we do that so the thing is when i say generate a password that means we are not going to use the old password that we have with our account right we are going to generate an application password that will be usage that will be usable only inside jenkins okay so yeah that is a good option from security point of view because we don't want to use our own password actual password right so how do we generate the password so for that you can like open gmail click on your uh, user account click on manage your google account once you click on that this page will open and you can click on security and then you need to scroll down until you see this option two-step verification in how you sign in google so click on that once you click on it it will ask you to put your password okay let me put sorry about that So once you put your password it will take you to another page okay two step verification page scroll down at the end and you will see this option app passwords okay so you can click on this and provide an app name for example like we are going to use for jenkins so we'll put jenkins okay and click on create now it's going to generate a password okay now this is the application password that we want to use okay and see this is good because this application password is not going to be used for logging into your account that is so this is to make sure that our account is safe okay so we have this password ready and what i'm going to do i will copy this password go to jenkins okay go to dashboard manage jenkins and we need to add this username and password inside credential section of jenkins so for that we can click on global click on add credentials okay and username so in username you need to provide your email address okay and in password we are going to copy the password that we have created right application password paste it here and id we will put as mail cred mail credentials copy this paste it in the description as well so we have saved this password right now again we will go to manage jenkins go to system and now we will start configuration of the email notification okay so let's start from the uh, this one see you might be thinking why we are having two options extended email notification and simply email notification so extended email notification it has much bigger fe bigger features and better features so yeah for that reason uh, like two two things exist one is the basic one one is the extended and it is like having more features right now smtp server so for gmail when we want to work with gmail the smtp server for gmail is smtp dot gmail dot com okay and smtp port as i mentioned we are going to use the port 465 so i will just add it now click on advanced credentials so here if you remember i just added my mail credentials right we will add it and make sure that you check this box use ssl now scroll down and scroll down to email notification here also we will provide the server name which is smtp.gmail.com okay expand this advanced option click on ssl and click on use smtp authentication now here username it's going to be our email address gmail.com password it's going to be the app password that we have just created okay and we can paste it here make sure that you have the port set to 465 only okay let me just confirm that in extended version 465 yeah smtp gmail.com right so this is fine click on apply now we can do a test by running the, using this test configuration by sending test email so let me put my own email this wall are the 246 at the rate gmail.com okay we can click on test configuration and let's wait so email was successfully sent we can check our uh, account here you can see we just received email a test email 
to and address is not there is like not proper configuration done as right now okay which we are going to do now so in uh, jenkins side um, uh, in system we have configured everything right now we need to write the script which is going to send the email okay so for that we will go to dashboard open the job with which we want to work configure and scroll down at the end okay now so i have the script ready let me explain you some things so what things it is going to provide us first of all you know it's going to create a, a proper colorful banner which will show if pipeline is success or not if pipeline is success banner will be green and if pipeline is failed banner will be red also there will be a border green color border if pipeline is success red color border if pipeline is failed okay secondly you know uh, some other information will be in the pipeline like uh, the link to this console output okay other than that here you can see email text so email text uh, we are see we are sending to whichever user we want we can just mention here from now you see like if someone uh, clicks on that email and clicks on reply to so reply will be going to this email which is a random any, any email you can put and reply will be going to this email which is jenkins at the rate example.com okay finally we have this file attachment pattern so basically if we have a specific file in our uh which got generated in our pipeline so we can uh, upload that file also on uh, on our email notification now you might be thinking why should we upload any file and what kind of file we should be uploading so for example let's say we have trivi report right so what we can do we can upload this trivi report on email so that it can be analyzed okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this uh, name of the uh, that uh, file trivi report and i'll paste it here in the attach attachments pattern okay and i'll just copy this whole thing okay coming back to pipeline now here where exactly do we need to paste so we need to paste this uh, script outside these stages that means we need to uh, paste it just before the last bracket so i'll paste it here okay everything seems fine i'll click on apply and let's see what happens click on build now okay so build has started running the test cases okay and we are generating the trivi report and i want the trivi report as well in my uh, in as an attachment in my G, uh, uh, email that i am going to receive on my email address right so yeah let's wait for this to complete this may take a little bit of time because we are running it for the first time okay it got completed that's good and seeing the status of the pipeline so pipeline is success and we can see sending email to my email id right now if i go here now here you can see amazing format right uh, we have the subject is e cart build number and the status of the job okay and here also we can see it's green that means banner is green that means pipeline is success and here we can see the build number details and here we have the url to access the console output and best part we have this trivi report also if i click on this we can see this is the report that we generated okay so this is good right and this is green color let's do one thing let's try to get a banner to red color and how it's going to happen so that is going to happen if something goes wrong okay so let's say i'll because this the project that i'm using it has failed test cases so for that pipeline will be failing so let's run this and let's see now what happens compilation and testing so testing may not work well and it's going to fail because test cases are not well written okay so let's wait and let's wait for this to fail okay so this pipeline actually is uh, uh, stages failed and now yeah this is also done now we should be able to see now you can see the mail that we received now is red in color with red banner but still we received the report because report was existing from the previous uh, previous uh, pipeline okay so yeah this is one of the best way you can like set up your uh, mail notifications to receive a uh, mail notification in a proper format okay so yeah uh, and also team do not worry i'll just share with you with this uh, share you this code in this uh, telegram group you can just join and you can just get it okay and where exactly this uh, will be there in the telegram group so whatever things i share i usually pin that message in the 
pinned messages section of the group so you can just check out it there okay also team for those who are looking for training sessions so we just started our batch for yesterday amazing response i have received and yeah if you are interested to learn you can join because i have already added the batch 3 complete recordings so for those who want to start immediately preparing you can start watching the batch 3 videos and attend the live sessions for batch 4 okay so yeah all the links will be in the description so make sure to check them out now yeah thanks for watching team and have a nice day